Hello everyone, my name is Sachev Chaz and welcome back to yet another One Piece card game video. And in this video, we're going to talk about the other secret rare coming to OP03 and it's none other than the one and only Soga King. I'm really excited to finally have Soga King in the One Piece card game and for him to be a secret rare. And there's also an official reveal of the super rare Rob Lucci. So Rob Lucci isn't our second secret rare, but he's still a really, really strong super rare. So we're just going to talk about these two cards. Yes, there are other cards that have been revealed, but we're going to save them for the full list coming out once we are closer to OPO3. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribing if you want to keep up to date with more One Piece card game content. Also, I just bought One Piece Odyssey, so I've been playing it on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash chairs if you want to check it out. Come by and say hello and see me play One Piece Odyssey. Without further ado, let's talk about our two new cards, starting with our secret rare, Soga King. So Soga King is our other secret rare from OPO3. This is pretty awesome. It's a, it's a blue secret rare. So blue players rejoice. Your secret rare is here. 7 cost 6,000 power with the range attribute part of the Sniper Island trait. So that's pretty awesome. So his first ability is this character is also called Usopp. So it's a little bit weird because, you know, Usopp, what does he have to do with Soga King? They are two separate individuals and they don't, you know, I don't ever see them interacting. So the fact that, you know, he's also called Usopp. I guess they do have some similarities. They have like, uh, they're they are both snipers in a way, but that's pretty weird for me. Anyway, his on play ability is return a character that costs six or less to their owner's hand, then draw two cards and trash two cards with counter 1000. So Usopp, I think it's a really decent effect. One, it plays into what Blue wants to do. He wants to return characters uh, back to their owner's hand, and then it gives you a form of card draw. You draw two and then you trash two cards. So similar to the attacking ability of that plus 2000 counter, Dracul Mihawk from the starter deck. But the great thing about this Usopp is that you can play it in, I guess, a variety of decks. You can play it with Crocodile as your leader. You could even play it as a flex slot in Doflamingos, Ivankov. But I think it's going to shine really well in the new Nami deck that we're going to see definitely in OPO3 because it kind of does what you want to do for blue and also a little bit for Nami because you can return something so you get some you get a little bit of tempo uh that costs six or less to the owner's hand and then you can draw two cards and trash two cards so you know you're thinning your deck a little bit more as well not only that if you kind of need to do it you can technically return your own Zef back to your hand and then Zef, uh, you know, his on play ability is you can return something that costs 3 or less to your hand and then you trash 2 cards from the top of your deck. If you need to, you can reuse some of your cards effect, you can reuse some of your card searches, uh, that's definitely going to be happening in blue as well. So, you know, it's quite versatile I would say. It's a, it's a pretty versatile blue secret rare uh, that could fit in into many decks moving forward or any decks that play blue moving forward. And the fact that it has counter 1000 as well, it, it shows that it's pretty good. So I'm excited. I, and the fact that, you know, this is the regular art secret rare and it really looks fantastic. I cannot wait to see how the alternate art looks like for this. And in Soga King, one of my favorite characters from One Piece, the, the entire like premise of it is like ridiculous, but it's so, so funny. Crossing finger that you know we had a uh, secret rare that's based on water seven you know still holding out hope for manga robin we'll see we'll have to see but the next card that we're going to talk about is none other than the super rare rob lucci now rob lucci uh both versions the parallel artwork and the normal artwork has been revealed but we're going to show the regular artwork first First of all, this artwork, just super boss. Him just standing there, you're going to see him a lot on your opponent's side of the field, especially if they're playing Black. I think Black has a lot of strong cards in this set. Rob Lucci is a 6 cost, 7,000 power with the striker attribute, part of the CP9. And his ability is on play. You may return 2 cards with a type, including CP, from your trash to the bottom of your deck in any order. Then this character gains a rush for the turn. I don't see a downside to putting cards at the bottom of your deck and you're putting the cards from your trash into your deck. So, you know, it may come in relevancy if there's more effects in the future that care about cards at the bottom of the deck or if you have like a direct searcher instead of like the top five cards, you know, that could be very useful in the future. But the fact that he can gain rush for the turn, that's absolutely great. This is going to be a really strong uh, card for black and they can utilize this card to 
have that rush effect to kind of go for game either in the late game or also just be a generically strong attacker in the mid game. I think Rob Lucci is definitely a strong card and I'm pretty sure Black is happy to kind of have him. You can use Rob Lucci in a, in a Rob Lucci leader. You can use it in other Black decks that could potentially uh, want like a mid rangey rusher to that can potentially win you games in the future. It could be possible. So these two cards, Soga King and Rob Luigi, uh, could very well be flex slots. It could be very versatile, can go into different types of decks and, you know, it's great. And by the way, this is the alternate art of Rob Luigi. I think both versions look absolutely amazing. I'm, re I'm such a huge fan of the regular one, but the alternate art does look absolutely boss as well. So there you go. I just want to talk about these two cards. Yes, we will talk about all of the OPO3 cards once the um, you know the full card list is out. I'm just gonna be highlighting certain important cards like the secret rares uh, and also the super rares with strong effects that will determine the OPO3 meta game moving forward. But there you go. Hope you guys like the Soga King as a choice for the secret rare. I absolutely love it. It didn't really come out of left field because you know we did have a focus on Whole Cake Island. And we're going to have a little bit of a focus on Water 7, CP9 stuff. So Soga King kind of just fits right in. And it's a great artwork. I love it. But yeah, let me know what you think about Soga King and the new Rob Lucci card in the comment section below. I hope you guys have a wonderful week ahead. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.